Uh, and Tui Polodu is going to be a good person to look at because you're probably going to see him play the nose or like head up on the center like Jordan Davis would. And then you probably see him move around like you'll also see Jordan Davis. Well, too. yeah, and they'll shade. They shade their their their, their nose. They've yeah. done on the ball and they've, they've shaded them. I noticed that in training camp. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, this is big. The, the, Tui Pelotu, it's funny. When Gannon said – he barely played last year. He said he he looked great, he excellent, whatever the words he used. I'm like, he barely played and wasn't really in good enough shape. I don't – these coaches say stuff. And, I, I mean, I, it, look, they have better information than we do, but it's not really what we had heard. So yeah. I, I don't know. Well, I mean, the next time Gannon says something mildly critical of anything will be the first. So, but, but just, yeah, I know, but, but here's it, I, I get you. You don't have to then spoon feed lies. You just, you can figure your way around a question without just whatever, it, whatever his version <laughs> of the truth is. I'll trust his judgment, but it's not what we, you know, no, we heard now, but with Tui Pelotu, he's had a very good camp. He's definitely, he's now what we call in the conversation to, to make the team. Yep. Marvin Wilson won't make the team most likely, but he's definitely shown some things. Yeah. So let's see what happens here with two Peloto over these three games. Uh, and he came camp really good shape. Much- 